are not for basketball, as it is the very first time the game day has been here for a basketball weekend. Coach Seth Greenberg joining Countdown to Game Day for the very first time this season. I'm Welcome. honored to be part of this show. Yes, of course. This cloud crowd is, you know what you would say? What? It's lit! Yeah. I love when that happens. <laughs> I mean, you got to understand that. We're uh -huh. in your facility. You guys yeah. got to get a little fire. Yeah, you got to bring the noise. Do you just think like, whoa? <laughs> I love when that happens. Uh, Coach also has been really working on his slang. I love that. Uh, so obviously, this is the first time that we've been here for a basketball game. How would you describe this atmosphere? How would I describe this atmosphere? Are you yeah. kidding me? These people are ready to go. What is up with that, sir? a shirt on holding a Tennessee hoodie. That's a little suspect. I'm not going to lie. Okay, coach, but let's talk about what you're wearing today because you have this plaid see, coat I'm on. Gonna give you, I'm going to give these students a little history. Yeah, yeah. There was a guy named Wimp Sanderson. All right, he's the godfather of Alabama basketball. He used to wear these kind of nice plaid coats. So I thought if I was going to come to Alabama today, I had to pay homage to the godfather, Wimp Sanderson, but I had to wear the hard hat because I had to bring it full circle. What do you think? Looks beautiful. Looks beautiful. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about this Alabama team, right? They've had a really, really good season this year, last year. Nate Oates has done a lot when it comes to this Bama squad. What has impressed you the most? I just love the way they play, the speed that they play with, the spacing they play with, their ability to make shots, make plays. Uh, they, they impose their identity on the game, and when they can do that, they're almost impossible to beat. They can drop 100 in a heartbeat. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the small problem. They've got to defend a little bit more purposely. But offensively, they are absolutely impossible to game plan. Yeah, I talked to Mark Spears yesterday, or Mark Spears, excuse me, about the defense and them wanting to figure that out as they go into March and trying to make a deep run when it comes to the tournament. But let's talk about what they have to do tonight against this Tennessee team. We've seen them play them before. They want to get a dub this time around. How can they do that? I think they've got to match the physicality. Tennessee is a really physical team. All right, so first and foremost, you've got to match your physicality, which means you've got to play ahead of that defense and you've got to compete offensively. The other thing, there's a guy named Dalton Connect. I think they've heard of him. He's pretty good at basketball. He's had four 35-point games. He's had six 30-point games. He's one of the toughest matchups in college basketball. They can't let him get off. They got to get the ball out of his hands. And on the other side, they got to make that dude defend. It's the best way to guard a great player is to make him defend. I hear what you're saying, but you know what? You don't want to get that guy kicked off. I can tell you that much. <laughs> Bulletin board material right there. We'll see if they're able to get it done. Of course, this crowd is going to be there for the game tonight, right? All right. All right. That was On the Road presented by Best Western.